Hello, you find me in the uh, queue. I've just uh, queued up for some standard uh, ladder games. I'm uh, playing a deck. I, I, it was called... Uh, it's gone through a few name changes. It's now called pa Pain and Sorrow. Uh, I used it in the, uh, the Alchemy event. And it, uh, it was called Ores of Never Lose. Didn't really like the name very much. Um, it's, but it was. Uh, I was inspired by a Mike Flores article called um, uh, "Esper Violates the Prime Directive." I'll, uh, I'll leave a link for that. And uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. Well, I think in the side between the sideboard and the main deck, they've got four Keeper Reckoner raids and four. Toshiro and Mizawa. I think I should turn the volume down a little bit. It sounds very loud. Let me see, let me see what I can do here. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I think we can play Life of Toshiro and Mizawa. Gain some life. Uh, yeah, so I don't like the name Orzov Never Lose, because, well, it loses Squalf and <laughs> well, um, more than anything else, so, uh, yeah, I've, I've been trying to come up with a name. I had a, kind of a placeholder name, I called it uh, Orzov Sweepers, wasn't really happy with that either. But it does have, it's got five sweeper spells in the deck. So it's a very, uh, it's an Orzov control deck, basically. Uh, and I, uh, racking my brains, I, 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 try, I thought I could call it Frightmare, maybe. That's because I have Turgrid God of Fright. Which is a, a reference to an old, very old computer game. And it, there's also a slasher movie called Frightmare. I don't think we can let him have a, a Runeforged champion. And I think we can play, definitely play a tap land. Uh, I, I thought... Uh, so I've, uh, I've thought a bit more. I've come up with a name, Pain and Sorrow. So he's gonna. That's quite good, really, for us. I think he's gone. He's done that to have a look for a few creatures. I guess he's found his generous visitor. Um, what happens if we blow up Showdown of the Scalds with Invoke Despair? That seems. That seems good, doesn't it? Do we have... Oh yeah, we've got to tap him, of course. That's fair enough. Does he lose those cards? No, he doesn't. He doesn't lose the cards. Yeah, until end of next turn. So he can play all these cards. But it won't... Crucially, it won't uh, pump his creatures up. Yeah, so I've, uh, I've called the deck Pain and Sorrow, which, uh, and there are no cards called Pain or Sorrow but in the deck, but I thought it's, uh, it seems appropriate for an Wars of Control deck with lots of sweepers and removal and things. It's got another showdown of, of the Scalds, that's, uh, that's pretty good, isn't it? He's done quite well there. Uh, I think this might be a, a Biting Palm Ninja turn. To be honest with you, swing in like that. Uh, what do we want to replay, though? Yeah, biting palm ninja, ninjutsu. Ninjutsu Toshiro, I think. Yeah, 
Yes, let's, let's see what he's got in his real hand. Another showdown of the Scalds. Um, touch of Spirit Realm. So this is a big card advantage card. The Naturalist is a bit of a pain. I think we'll get rid of the big card advantage card. So he, did, he drew three of them. Um, what do we want to do? We want to play... Replay that and just gain life. And play another tap land. There we go. So I think um, this deck has got six out and out tap lands. So that's something I'm sort of thinking about a bit more is how many tap lands can I get away with? Now the um, Mike Flores deck only has two tap lands in the whole deck. Which, uh, when you get to that sort of level of magic, I guess that's um, that makes a lot of sense, really. Uh, you want uh, lots of tempo. How much damage am I going to take here? Something's getting blown up. Okay, that's that guy's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's search for um, basic land. Let's get a swamp. Actually. Slam in for six. That's one less blocker he's got. Um, he's gone. Oh, that has life link. I that was the thing I neglected to notice. Quite an important detail. But he's got two things left in his hand. He does have this touch the spirit realm. He's that's. That's going to go off next turn. Um, this guy doesn't have menace. I think. What's the most damage we can do? I think. Uh, let's bring out the hive of the eye tyrant. He's now he's going to gain six life next turn from that. Um, but we're going to do 8 damage here. Okay, he's blocking there. Okay. Good. Put on six. Okay, and we'll end the turn there. Path of Peril. Uh, Mountain value two or less. Well, that would kill him and my hive of the eye turret, wouldn't it? No, I think. Uh, yeah. That wouldn't be good. How much damage can he do me? One of them's a land. Okay. That gets that gets it to eight eight, right? Okay, that's a rip apart on Nazumi Road Captain. Nice. Touch the spirit realm. Very nice. So that gets it to nine nine, I think. Just gonna have to take nine, and he's gonna go up to eighteen. Do we want a field of ruin? Anything? Um, I think you know. I could. It, it would take another land out of my deck. Uh, sure. Let's let's try this. Sacrifice field of ruin, and we'll take out. 
one of his multi lands. So he's down to one red source, I suppose. But no, he can he can probably find a mountain, can't he? We'll get our last swamp out, actually. There is a reason for that. Okay, we can actually hold. Um, no, I think we want March of Otherworldly Light on Touch the Spirit Realm. We'll Path of Peril to knock out this guy who is only casting cost 2. Makes sense. Um, do we want to... It's going to cost us 4 mana to do Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Uh, how about a Turgrid God of Fright? That puts the pressure on. Cool. Oh, I uh, yeah, I definitely could have um, done my eye tyrant there. Uh, Kiba Reckon Raid. Uh, I guess we'll keep keep Aganjo. Don't need an extra land that much. Uh, so let's just check. It's a three pointer on that. Let's auto pay that. Uh, yeah, I didn't activate my hive, did I? Decline that. I'm being a bit forgetful, really. Uh, never mind. Okay. We will wake the hive up. And I feel like my game has maybe crashed. We'll give it a few seconds. Okay, we're back. Yeah, just just played one, but uh, the game crashed on the uh, final turn when I was about to win. It happens. At least it's just it, yeah, it's just a ladder game. It's not uh, wasn't a, not an important game. Looks like we're going tap land, tap land, ninja. The deck only really needs one white mana. No, no, it does need a couple. We're try going to try and hit four black mana as soon as possible.
shoulders off with uh, snow. So he's probably got... What's it called? Blood on the snow. Which is a good point. I just got my first blood on the snow. From a... Um, from a Caltine draft. So I could, I could do the same thing as him. Shall we reveal that we've got white? I guess there's no need to do so. Let's let's play a ninja. Right, we could uh, we could try a, um, yeah, try the lantern. I've not tried the lantern. I've been playing the uh, God of Fright, but I think he's got loads of creature removal in his deck. Maybe he doesn't have artifact removal. Seems like a, an idea, doesn't it? him for three. Oh, he's got Guy Tyrant. It's going to take out. Yeah. Nin Lighting Pile Ninja is gone. Now we could. So let's do that again. That's uh, pretty good. So this gives me uh, an option. It's a mana sink. So I can keep up mana for March of Otherworldly Light, my instant removal. If he wants to try and uh, do that again. Or I can just untap my lantern and hit him again. I notice it's instant speed discard, which is quite interesting really. Now, it's a zero casting cost spell, so I should be able to play, pay one white. I think. I think that's how it works. Pay zero. Confirm zero. Not bad against those uh, creature lands, I guess. So we'll untap. And hit him again. Uh, Ganjo would be another good thing to do. Uh, we could just invoke despair for six, draw, draw a few cards. And hit him with the lantern as well.
It's a silly card. Seems good. Three instant removal spells. I guess, yeah, when you're, you're going first, March of Otherworldly Light is a little bit better. Can oh let's get let's get a source of white mana with this. Or do we yeah, let's get a source of white mana. I'm gonna exile him. So it doesn't learn. Twitch. Uh, we will exile this one as well. out of there. So yeah, he's missed a land drop. Why not? Seems excessive, but I don't want him getting any value out of that whatsoever. Uh, we want a swamp or a black mana land, if you like. And we'll I tyrant. Yeah, quite nice exiling those uh, eye twitches, otherwise he'd have um, been able to fix his mana. Okay, let's keep seven. 
Um, I think we're going to hope to draw an untapped mana source. Play that turn one. Okay, okay, this is going to be a good test for the deck. Uh, we do, we will have a white source from these, so we're going to when in doubt, we'll have black sources of mana, I think. Land, I think. Okay, that's gone, right? Uh, still front, I think. Maybe for another swamp. Bring in a ninja. We do have Wandering Emperor in the deck. See? Oh, um... So he's going to knock out my guy with that. Okay, that's sort of expensive. I don't like them all of the sky clothes. I think um, that said, I think I'm going to drop his sky clove apparition because I want to ninjutsu my burning palm ninja next turn. I think the priority is actually for four black sources. We'll worry about second white source later. Because we've got we've got three invoke despairs and only one wandering emperor in the deck. Well, and we've got we do have by invitation invitation only and farewell for um, as my sweepers. But we've got this uh, this sweeper which seems pretty good. So yeah, we might be stuck on floor land for a bit, it looks like. He can make a 4-4 flying first strike with that. Okay, timed out. Well, we drew a land. That's that's lucky. That's double white as well. Very nice. Let's attack. He's got life link on that one. OK. 
Okay, yep, we are through. Yes. Uh, let's get rid of the nasty one of the sky clothes, I think. And rack and ride seems good. Just uh, Westgate Regent, and then we can finish the game pretty quickly. I could, could just keep taking cards out of his hand. I'm guessing he his machine has crashed. One more win to gold. Okay, right, we'll play Bankbuster turn two. We're being very lucky in getting to go first pretty much every game. So I'm the one, <laughs> I guess. Right, uh, this makes loads of creatures as well. Uh, I guess we, uh, yeah, we could draw and play a storefront. Yeah, that makes sense. Play the storefront. Do we want a swamp? I think we want a swamp. And next, end turn. So this is a uh, Selesnia snow uh, with creatures. So and spirits maybe. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Human Druid. Instants and sorceries put a plus one plus one on Dragon's Code Elite. Okay, sure. It's not a spirit, but fine. Uh, plus one plus one counters, maybe, and also uh, token creatures. So he's got. Uh, you can block like a road captain. So if we get a, uh, okay, cool, we can draw, boom. Another bank buster, sweet. Oh, he's attacking, right, we won't block. Go on then. Interesting, second spell. So yeah, sorry, this is a, a uh, 
this is like a double spell deck that makes extra things. So you know, he can he can block my uh, road captain. Uh, do we want white or black mana? I think I'm fine with white mana. Yeah. If he gets blocked, I guess I could do a two point meat hook massacre. Seems okay. And if he doesn't block, I will biting palm ninja. There we go. one of his cards, see what's going on here. Snakeskin Veil. Yeah, we're not, not keen on that card. Let's get rid of it. And we'll have another raid out. So I think... Oh no, we did. We played a land that turn. Damage coming in. Uh, oh, that's. So he's he's going to use that to boost a lot of things. Hmm. Very good. That's two casting costs. That's two casting costs. So, uh, Meat Hook Massacre for two does quite a lot uh, here. Uh, I think that's what we'll have to do. Um, hmm, I could. Uh, I'm just thinking, do I attack? I don't think I attack. Right, I'm going to um, do that, because he's got to top deck something pretty good. Another sk snakeskin veil. No attacks. He needs six mana to double the counters on this. He might have a, a snakeskin veil there. The plan is... I do a sort of surprise block with the bank buster to trade him off, and I think that's fine. Um, just I'm just using it like a removal spell, I suppose. Just going to give people the benefit of the doubt and assume, like me, they've had some uh, problems with their devices. Right, so we are. Yeah, we don't we don't like missing land drops, so we're going to look for the land. We didn't get the land. Uh, I'm going to play a bank buster and say go. Could have swung in for damage, but we could have, right, we could have done um, soul shatter 
swung in for three, but I'd rather try and hit that next land drop. So yeah, not a very entertaining video at the moment. Two, <laughs> two ropers in a in a row, but never mind. And we're in gold, I think. Yes, okay, there we go, good. So yeah, I think this deck is pretty brutal and can, seems to do a good job at mowing down aggro decks. Well, it. I guess I didn't play anything really against anything really scary. Just another look at the deck. So yeah, uh, Toshiro and Mizawa did some good, good work. Popped a few one toughness creatures. That can that can really sort of level the playing field against um, yeah, white weenie decks, I think. Saw some good uh, biting palm ninja action as well. Would be nice to get four of these, I think. Didn't really draw any of our white cards. Sort of interesting. I've got I've just got a smattering of white cards. A couple of them are double white, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh yeah, well actually yeah, I've got no, I've got farewell. I've got mar uh, march of other worldly light. Yeah, there are a, there are a few more. So yeah, nine nine white cards. Okay, and twenty two black cards. I like invitate by invitation only though, because that, go that goes really well if you have a um, if you have a Turgrid in play and maybe just one or two extra creatures, you can steal your opponent's creatures. Well, as long as they're not tokens, I suppose. If you really wanted to build around Turgrid, you'd probably get one or two more, and you want more Soul Shatters. In the deck as well. Let's look at instants and sorceries. I think there's something else quite good. No, that doesn't say sacrifice. There we go, yeah, I do have a Blood on the Snow. I don't know if I'd uh, play it in this deck. March of Wretched Sorrow is another option. Which helps you uh, gain some life. That guy seems good, Extus Auric Overlord. I 
Well, I suppose it's good if you've got a lot of non-legendary creatures. This deck, uh, the creatures in this deck don't really work with um, reanimation, just because most of them are in uh, saga creatures, so they're actually enchantments. So I'm running five um, sweepers, I believe it's five, let's count them. Path of Peril, by invitation only, farewell, and two meat hook massacres. So it's interesting, the deck kind of, you, the early uh, sagas kind of, they can gain you life, Toshiro can snipe a few small creatures and that can kind of just keep you in the game for long enough to get your uh, to get some some serious removal going uh, maybe a sweeper yeah uh, but uh, check out um, yeah the uh, Mike Flores article Esper violates the prime directive the deck at the end of that article is um, that's the sort of finished version of this deck um, I think it's got Henrika Domnathi so I've, I've just uh, this is my homebrew version with you know, throwing together a res that I've got available so it's just a lots of one ofs yeah okay I think that's a video Thanks for watching.